Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about how opening a store has changed my life. So as many of you know, I'm looking to open a pseudo Magic the Gathering store. Well, it has really changed my life. I know the store is not open yet and the website is still being worked on. Yes, still being worked on. But I used to be able to buy 15 card booster packs of Pokemon. Now... Thanks to MTG Finance, I can only buy six card packs at the dollar store. So I can't even afford to get a rare in every pack. Thank you, MTG Finance. So my life has really changed over the past few days due to my uh, commitment to MTG Finance and the lifestyle, the luxurious lifestyle that is MTG Finance. I just wanted to show you some of the finer, the finer refri. Uh, the finer luxuries that this life of MTG Finance can offer. So not only can you buy, instead of buying one booster pack for $4, I can buy four booster packs for a dollar each and hope to pull that elusive EX. I will also show you the high quality food I am now able to eat, like bologna. This bologna is of the highest origin from cows from japan it's like the same type of cow they make the wasabi beef but better so bologna is i mean it's just the best food it's great for mtg financiers everywhere they can all eat some bologna you know they all they can even make their own bologna really and sell it to their subscribers for you know on a paywall or something i mean yeah i haven't i don't have a paywall yet and I've been on record for saying I didn't want a paywall, but with all this baloney, it's really hard to keep it all in one place. So maybe I'll have a paywall for my YouTube channel, so then all the baloney can be put in one place. <laughs> anyway, the luxurious lifestyle of eating baloney at MTG Finance has really appealed to me and others. As you can see in the background, there's plenty of baloney to go around. I'm at a dollar store. There's lots of baloney at the dollar store. There's a lot of baloney, MTG Finance. Baloney. <laughs> I don't want you guys to take this video, so I'm going to pause it a little bit. Don't take this video too seriously. I mean, it's just a joke. And here's my Thanksgiving dinner. We have to wait for the sale of the week. Uh, using our MTG Finance knowledge, we understand that the best place to buy food is the dollar store. And we have to wait for the epic sales that happen during Black Friday. So that is why we buy these expired food. Just like regular magic cards, you buy expired magic cards called reserve list cards that are no longer are being played and no one wants them. But what we do is we inflate the price. We wait for it to hit a low point. We inflate the price for totally unusable cards. And then we sell the food during a hurricane pretty legit so anyway the one of the biggest issues of mtg finance is to know when the price point is the lowest or where to get the best deals uh, we also use our mtg finance knowledge to find the best de deals on food so i know people will criticize us mtg financiers for being very snobby and you know eating all that bologna all the time making that bologna but for the most part we're just simple people who want really good deals and we use our in incredible knowledge base to get good deals on food as well as ties. This tie I'm looking at is from Saks Fifth Avenue and it used to be $110, but using my MTG finance knowledge, I can get it for like two bucks at the Goodwill. And I'm going to show you a lot of really cool stuff that I was able to negotiate down for pennies on a dollar. I mean, people call me a shark and they're right. I'm so good at MTG Finance. That, you know, I can negotiate. Uh, I can negotiate in Walmart. I can negotiate in Goodwill. Sometimes I pretend to be a senior citizen at Goodwill to get that extra 30% off discount. <laughs> MTG Finance at its best. I use my everyday MTG Finance skills to get really great offers on uh, suits, ties, pants, board games, magic cards. 
who said this cannot be a professional career where you make six figures? I, I clearly make six figures uh, only doing MTG Finance, and it is the future for everyone. I highly suggest you guys go to the pay, pay all these websites to get in the baloney hole, to get into you know the, past the baloney wall, and learn how to sell and trade magic cards. There's no better time to buy boxes of magic cards than now. There's no better time to spike a card on a reserve list that we'll never see play, and it's impossible to sell than now. Look at this suit I used my MTG finance skills to get for $20. I said, hmm, I see value in this. I see the potential for this suit to go up to $500. I just got to buy for 20 spike the suit, and then sell it to some person who didn't pay for the baloney paywall and then make money. Or I can take this suit, wear it, and then tell my subscribers how awesome this suit is and then sell it to them. Or I can trade this suit for two other suits uh, from two other of my subscribers and tell them to trade another suit for another suit, like a, a pyramid almost. And then everyone would have suits. And instead of like selling suits, we would not be a suit company. We would be a company selling opportunities to better their lives via having their own company. So what we would tell people is, hey, don't think of buy buying suits from us. Think of buying a company, being an independent person, having your own business, being an entrepreneur. That's what we'll do. And we'll also sell mixed protein drinks as well under this model. Things sometimes get really, you know, we're a really awesome startup, um, mtgline.com, and we wear these crazy clothings because, like, you know, every startup, we we do dumb stuff with investor money, and that's what we do. Uh, we are an MTG finance startup. Now, our model is very similar to PicoTrade and PicoTrade 2.0, where we take people's money, we inflate the unregulated currency, and we wear silly T-shirts like this, this cootie. Who would not give us money? Who would not give us $60,000 to develop a website? I mean, wh why not? We have this cootie t-shirt. I mean, isn't that enough? Like, that's more than PicoTrade had, right? Like, right? So, with your support and your funding, and you're paying for the baloney paywall, mtgline.com will become the strongest website available, where you can give us your cards for free, we'll give you fake currency, and yep, uh, is there, are there any other steps that I'm missing? No, I think that's it. And then we'll get, with the fake currency, we will devalue it to oblivion. As you can see, we have lots of awesome, awesome designer. I mean, if we were not successful, why, why, why is there so many designer t-shirts here or designer clothing? We're, we're just doing so amazing, uh, so incredible at our company that we literally have like hundreds of these t-shirts available for to wear on a daily if not monthly basis so that is how mtg finance has changed my life it has taught me how to uh, build a pyramid scheme it has taught me how to create a baloney paywall and it's taught me how to wear really cool clothing for a discount i don't just take anyone's price anymore you think that milk I paid that two twenty nine that advertised in Walmart? No, I used my MTG finance skills to get that massive discount. That milk's on buy list. Buy list me that milk. This is a joke, guys. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.